Hi everyone, my name is Justin. I'm, I'm from Sydney uh, in Australia. Uh, I thought I'd review or at least give you a quick walkthrough uh, of these earphones. Um, I know there's a lot of uh, content on the internet and uh, we're all very thankful for it. Um, I remember when I was looking for a Bluetooth headphone or earphones, um, these popped up, uh, but there weren't too many reviews on you know performance and usability and you know how they were owning them uh, so I thought I might just um, you know pay back and give back to the community uh, by giving my two cents about these kind of talking off the cuff um, so hopefully it's not too um, uh, bad but uh, here we go uh, so I've owned these Audiofly uh, 45 wireless Bluetooth earphones for about maybe two months now a bit under um, they are my first Bluetooth earphone set uh, I've ever had. Um, I don't claim to be an audiophile. Uh, my dad is. Um, so I've had some kind of exposure to good quality uh, music and, and the like. And I've had a bit of an interest. I, just like a good bottle of wine, I probably can't tell after you know a $50 bottle. Uh, and, and with audio, it's probably similar as well. Um, once you reach a certain... Uh, level it becomes a bit subjective anyway um, that said it's a good set and let's run into it uh, it's a good looking unit not too heavy uh, the two things you see here uh, I believe they house a battery and probably the electronic device and the circuit board circuitry um, Please note, these are Comply memory foam uh, tips, not the ones that come with them. They come with, um, I think, three sets of silicon uh, tips, uh, which fit okay uh, and good isolation. Um, I somehow misplaced them all. I don't know where I put them, but um, these T400 Comply Sports, I think they are, uh, fit pretty well and are really good isolation as well. Uh, they apparently have an 11 millimeter driver, uh, which I thought was quite a large driver for something um, of this price point. Not that a larger driver um, equals better sound um, or a more expensive product, uh, but I, I found that uh, quite interesting. And um, some of the sound quality that it exhibits uh, is probably due to the a larger driver, but we can get into that in a moment. Uh, I like the cord. Um, it's kind of like a paracord braided kind of cable, um, which you don't generally see. Um, I, I imagine, you know, they, they're probably more durable. I've owned many earphones over the years, and often um, they fail at the joints uh, rather than anywhere else. Um, time will tell. Uh, we have your volume up, um, your multifunction button and your volume down button. The microphone is housed here for your phone calls. A An, an, an LED is here uh, and it flashes either red or blue depending on what it's trying to tell you. A micro USB charging port. It comes with a micro USB cable. It's not a super long cable but it does the job. Uh, an adjusting or adjustment um, collar. Uh, so you can see, you can adjust uh, how the uh, earphones wrap around your neck or how they um, how they sit on your neck. The internet um, you can refer to for a lot of the specifications, um, but the key things that jumped out at me um, was the eighty-eight sorry eight-hour battery life. Uh, quoted 11 millimeter driver and the fact that it's compact and um, fairly portable as I said the unit does have uh, Bluetooth core functioning um, just before Christmas uh, it was quite chaotic at work uh, and I relied on it um, a fair bit uh, and it works uh, really well um, 
and it's quite clear uh, and I was really impressed actually um, I haven't used a, a Bluetooth uh, headset in many years um, but this works out pretty well anyway you have to make sure that the microphone is at least aimed towards your mouth uh, as you're speaking and you also have to make sure you don't press mute on your mobile phone uh, by accident um, when you're chatting uh, but otherwise um, it works pretty well uh, the multifunction button works as is um, press once to answer press again to hang up uh, it was loud enough and the clarity seemed uh, just fine when I first bought these I rushed I was actually on the way to the gym and I remember that moment when I first connected or paired it uh, which paired perfectly fine with my Google Pixel and I was taken back, taken aback as to how uh, loud and clear they were I was pleasantly surprised really um, the 11mm drivers really do give a punchy uh, fairly deep uh, low frequency bass uh, signature I wouldn't call it a uh, a perfect balance between all frequencies and all sound characteristics um, maybe the sound stage isn't quite there uh, but at this price point $90 from JB Hi-Fi um, it, it really performs great um, reference for me would be sorry reference um, e earphones for me I've owned a set of Shaw's SE535's in ear monitors um, and I, I take that as the benchmark uh, from what I've ever owned uh, I've, my dad also had a um, Sennheiser HD 600 open ear uh, headphone set um, and, and I don't think they're really comparable um, that said this is really punching above its weight for its price um, and uh, what it's really target is for um, it's not just the price I think it's, it's it's really uh, an impressive set I'm not sure if it was an isolated incident or it just needed warming up but I remember when I did go to the gym that first time um, I had a, a horrible amount of interference and um, jittery audio and, and cutting in and out um, when I was there I'm not sure why um, I spoke to my brother apparently that it could be interference uh, and, and there could be many different environmental factors that can affect your signal quality. I tried playing around with the settings in the phone um, but I didn't really get anywhere. That issue more or less has disappeared um, and it never really occurs. I would say I listen to these at least four or, f four or five hours a day. and maybe 5%, maybe even less, um, where it would some, from time to time uh, skip or go a bit jittery. Uh, might, even, might even be less. It, it's basically a handful of seconds um, per session that you might be listening. So call it maybe 10 seconds all up. Um, and that's me walking to the train station, on the train, at work, uh, and then reversing that um, trip uh, at the gyms now I, I don't I, well, I never went back to that first one but um, where I go now um, it works fine um, what I was surprised was how uh, the 10 meter um, Bluetooth connectivity distance uh, which is the claimed distance is I call bullcrap um, I think at best even with perfect line of sight, um, you're only really getting three or four or five meters, give or take. Um, that said, um, the phone's usually in your pocket. Um, it doesn't really matter. Uh, what I did find was if I was, you know, walking away from my desk, phone was on the desk, um, 
you know, in the kitchen, in the office, it would, it would cut out. Uh, what would happen though is um, it would just resume once you're back into con um, into into the uh, field, and it would just uh, resume and, and work just fine. Overall, uh, I'm really impressed and really happy with uh, these set of earphones. Uh, not only are they my first uh, set of Bluetooth earphones, um, having owned various in-ear monitors. Uh, and earphones um, over the years, um, I, I'm really happy with it. I guess uh, my um, negatives uh, for the earphones um, might be in relation to its uh, inboard um, voice announcement. So, for example, when you uh, get a call, it will say "incoming call" in a very, very robotic female voice, of course, um, uh, or uh, when you pick up the call, it will say, call connected. Um, I don't mind those announcements, but what those announcements do is actually, they commence as soon as that call does commence. Um, so you basically f miss the whole greeting uh, of the person that's calling you um, completely. Um, usually it's a, you know, that announcement can take up to one second. Or even more, and um, you you lose out on that complete uh, greeting. You know, they could have called you any name. You don't even know. Now that brings me to the second point, um, and it's related to the announcement. <clears throat> At thirty percent uh, battery, or oh, going back to battery life, um, I think it probably could get an eight-hour um, playtime. I don't doubt that at all. Uh, I haven't quite, you know, scientifically lab tested it um, to see what what mileage it would get. But what I did notice was it goes very strong. Um, call it maybe five, six hours, four, five, six hours, and hits thirty percent. Now, as soon as it hits thirty percent, um, that terrible announcement would come on: battery low, and it would repeat itself every maybe minute maybe one and a half minutes I, I don't know it's unbearable uh, I don't know if you've ever tried listening to music and have it completely halt um, to hear a robotic voice telling you that you, your battery is low um, I've never uh, left it running long enough to see if that continues all the way to zero percent I honestly don't want to find out um, I think it's a huge flaw actually um, and it to me, it renders the last 30% of the battery unusable because of that. Um, I'm not listening to me. I am listening to music. I'm not having it sit at idle, um, waiting to take a call. And I imagine if I was to take a call, that voice would be equally as distracting. So it's something to bear in mind. I, I doubt that maybe that the firmware update could be issued. I, I wish um, that would be great. But maybe Autofly um, can reconsider um, a different warning system, perhaps a flashing LED, even um, or a lower threshold, or is it a lower threshold for that warning system? Uh, otherwise, um, it's good, um, and I believe these Mark IIs, or this is the Mark II 45 um, Autofly which boasts a larger or a longer battery life. But going back to my last point, it's not very usable. Not very usable with that um, very intrusive announcement. So something to bear in mind. Um, hopefully that was okay. Um, sorry for my waffling. Uh, and hopefully uh, we'll see more great things to come from Audiofly, um, who are actually based out of Perth in Australia. Thanks. Bye.